Hi guys, you know how meat has a very specific taste, texture, colour and appearance, right? Well, today, we are going to head into PSB Academy to find out what makes meat, meat! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi, welcome, come in. Hi, I'm Agnes. I'm a lecturer at the School of Health and Life Sciences at PSB Academy. I heard that you're here for a challenge. What? In today's challenge, MJ and Agnes will be creating a meat dish without using any meat. Then, students and staff in PSB Academy will be trying these dishes out and guessing which of the dish is cooked with meat. Of course, both are not, so whoever can create the most convincing dish wins the challenge. We've actually prepared a bunch of ingredients here that people usually use to replicate meat, be it the taste, the flavour or even the texture. So you can use any of the ingredients that you like. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. Don't bother me, don't bother me. I start now. This is mine. This is mine. Roll, 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 roll. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna make Japanese curry pulled pork with jackfruit. Come on! It doesn't wanna come on! I see her panicking. Means I show win one. Agnes, what are you making? Um, tofu karagi. Um, I chose this dish because it's easy and also very accessible. To mimic the taste, texture, colour and appearance of meat, we need to replicate a combination of various factors. Firstly, it is the umami flavour. This savoury flavour is what makes meat taste like meat. In meat, umami flavour is created via the Maillard reaction. When meat is cooked, amino acids and sugars on its surface react at high temperatures to produce new flavours and aromas, one of which is that key umami flavour. Yeast is actually used for the savoury flavouring. So when you put it into the marination, right, when the tofu gets soaks it up, um, you can actually taste the umami flavour. Secondly, we need to recreate the texture of animal protein, which is really difficult because plants don't have muscle tissue. So jackfruit, young jackfruit especially, in the can, right, can you see the texture? Oh, look at that, this is meat-like, you know, like, hello. I'm going to squeeze out the water, the moisture from the tofu. And then it will replicate what a meat actually feels like. Cooking experience, not too much. I'm just cooking in the kitchen for my children. So I'm adding oat milk and also some soy sauce into the marinade. Thirdly, meat usually contains fat and fat provides this mouth-coating richness and juiciness that is also responsible for the mouthfeel and some of the flavour of the meat. How do I cut into cubes? Ah? Can, right? Can you wash? The, the container? Yeah. Need to wash? Why? Need to wash? Why? Is this a topic that your students learn? We teach them about the presence of microorganisms in food. They are going to make people sick if you don't become hygienic. But then, MJ. Huh? Can I chop already? Okay. There's a trick that I learned from TikTok on how you can remove potato skin. So you make like a little incision on the raw potato and then you put it inside. Uh, I, potato's a bit too big. Never mind, we will just see how. Lah. How? Ah? Never mind, I just peel lah, huh? Oh, we'll just see how lah. MJ, don't trust the TikTok. It's not always true all the time. No, I'm waiting for my marinade to soak up. So I just chill. Yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm so serious in this, eh? I've never been this serious in my life. Okay, I think we are more or less good. Last but not least, the colour of the meat. Meat is usually reddish brown in colour due to the presence of iron in myoglobin in muscle tissue and it also imparts some of the characteristic meaty flavour. So the colour of the curry will coat over the jackfruit and mask it so people will not suspect a thing. Smart, right? I'm now going to put the jackfruit in. Whoa! Yes, I realised I was too greedy and I added too much potatoes and carrot cubes into my dish which is why I plucked them out. So yes! Always try to mitigate the situation. Yeah, I need water. <laughs> hey, why are you all smiling? It's okay, right? It's okay, right? Right? The tofu itself, right, when you tear it, it has strats that looks like chicken. But the instance you put it in your mouth, you can taste that it's tofu. Hey, don't put that. Don't put that. Oh, <laughs> 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 MJ 
Jay, that's disgusting. Don't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't realise that I was doing that. I think I, I felt like a bit like I was at home. Eh? At home, I always do that, right? Because I'm eating the dish anyway. So yes, it was a really innocent mistake. We are done! Yeah, we've got to feed our PSB Academy students and see which one they think is more meat-like. We're going to the sports science lab. Huh, they're exercising them, we're feeding them. Hi there! So we each made a dish and we would like for you to try it and let us know which one you think is made of real meat. Okay, so this is Japanese curry pulled pork. The smell... Ooh! <laughs> And this is um, chicken curry. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Hold on, but I can sort of tell that's not chicken. <gasps> I show win one. Alright, so which one do you think is meat? The hunk for sure. Okay, this is not made of meat. This is actually made of jackfruit. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really convincing though. I mean, and it's huh. ready mix. Um, life science lab. <gasps> hey, hi! <laughs> We, we filmed together for one CSI episode. Which one? This one. This one's me. I show win one. This is actually made from tofu, tofu. And this is made from jackfruit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. One is... How do you use it? How do you use it? You can also use it. This is not meat. I think it's not meat. This one you can use. 哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，哈哈，